This is the South County Spotlight Special Report. Will the South County EMS finally go to Whateley? Once again, I'm your host, Chris Collins. This is the latest update on an ongoing saga, which has been talked about, it seems like, for months here in the South County area, in Deerfield, Sundorn, and Whateley. Will the South County EMS finally be housed under one roof in the Whateley Town Hall? Waitley certainly has been hoping to make this happen. Sunderland seems okay with the idea, but there are some people in Deerfield who still don't like the idea. But the situation took on a new layer this past week when it was revealed that the Frontier School Superintendent's office may be looking at moving to that very same space that Skems was going to occupy. The reason being that there were some te air quality tests done at the superintendent's office and the results were not that good. So Frontier Superintendent's Office needs to move. The question is, will it wind up moving into the town hall? And what does that do to SCEMS and their ability to find a place to house their operation? There was a Whitley Select Board meeting on May 17th, an 8.15 a.m. meeting, where the board took up this issue. And Certainly, a number of people have been frustrated by this in Waitley, but they haven't said much about it up until now. At least one selectman felt like the town has waited long enough for the answer which whether Skems will go into that building. We've waited long enough. We have somebody who wants to move into this building and would actually pay a higher rate. I don't we, care about we, paying. We gave, we gave Skems a great deal. We, we bent over proposal. backwards. We made a proposal to them already. We can't right. just walk away from our partnership with Skims. That puts us in the same shoes as the town of Deerfield in terms of how we choose or not choose to, 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 to act as a board. We are of our word. This is ethics as well. Well, uh, sure it's ethics, but you know, we, we have a fiduciary responsibility to the town to not right. leave our building <laughs> empty, which we sold to our town based on the agreement we thought we had with well, we sold, the the, board the, we sold the, the town based upon the possibility of added revenue. We could afford it without it even, because we well, had to I do something. Well, I think you know, part I, of the sales was to have the emergency medical system in this building. And that as a convinced prospect. a lot of people to forget the town hall and move into this building. Now, it clearly doesn't appear that anyone on this board wants to throw skims out or somehow knock them out of contention for that space, but the clock clearly is ticking. One thing which is also still unknown is how Deerfield intends to handle this request for proposals that they are putting out for potential people to house, or properties to house, South County EMS. And in fact, the whole way Deerfield's handled the scams issue is somewhat confusing the people in Waitley right now. So you're, so, and we're assuming what the Deerfield Select Board would do. We should not assume that. Oh, we should not we should put words not in our mouth. assume that at all? They're, 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 they're credible people and they're, they're, they're working in the best interest of, of their town. That's right. So, and they're responding to their constituents. And, and if we suddenly turn around and say, no, we're going to go with the school department as residents of this building, we are the ones, make no mistake, we are the ones ending the possibility of scams residing in this building. Not the town of Deerfield, not the town of Sunderland. We will be. It also appears the town is clearly sick of being at Deerfield's mercy when it comes to this particular issue. Nothing has happened in, in the last uh, six months in response to our proposal. We haven't heard anything. So how long are we going to sit here and wait? Another six months? And then you don't know if you're going to get an answer then or not. And, and then if we decide to do this, you name me one other location that would provide the public safety of the residents of Waitley that this location would for scams. We, so, we don't know that. They're looking at other locations. We, we can't, we we can't do know determine. That. We, <clears throat> no, we don't. We don't know where else they're looking at, Jonathan. The, there could be other possibilities, just as well as The this. Baxter report went through this region and highlighted a 1.8 square mile region or, or some, something like that about where the optimum location would be for public safety for not just the residents of Whateley, but for the residents of Sunderland and the residents of Deerfield. That is in the report, clear as day. Okay, but there's new locations being looked at, not only our location, but others. It's taught and the geographic John, range. John, the question is, we, we all know that, we agree with that, we were led to believe that that's the way things were going to happen. 
And, and we the don't town, know that it the won't. The town of Deerfield issues an RFP saying, well, we're not sure we want Waitley because we might get a better deal somewhere else. Well, that's not playing by the rules either. Yeah. Do you think that's possible? That they get a better deal somewhere else? Could happen. I think that they could, they could somebody could make them an offer. They would accept it. We'd be out of the race, and then they would find out, and we would find out. It's actually more expensive, but you know, that's what I thought. I think this is a very expensive proposal. I think downstream, if we get into a situation we and we stay in the scams, that it is an expensive entity to provide to the public, and it it, it can jump exponentially in costs. Well, and I, I, if we don't have if we don't offer them this rock bottom and we have to stay with them and go somewhere else where they have to build a facility or do something else, we may be forced out of that. And I think that would also be, um, you know, undesirable. The question was also raised whether or not not having Waitley as the housing agent, so to speak, for SCEMS would affect its long-term viability. Selectman Jonathan Edwards was very concerned about that possibility. If this doesn't move forward, if anyone thinks that the continuation of scams is a sure thing, their, their political glasses are, are really foggy. What you're asking for is if we should have Mark submit a proposal. Well. That's what I'm asking for, whether you want me to write a proposal for your meeting on the 31st. When it's, say, it's due the 3rd? It's due the 3rd. It should be written so we can review a draft and we can have a couple sets of eyes take a look at it, absolutely. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. and I'm for that. I'm not throwing skims out, but I'm, I don't want to throw the superintendent's office out either. I mean, that's where I'm a little torn between our responsibility to the town from a fiscal point of view and our commitments from a political... Oh, and our responsibility to the town from a public safety point of view. And public safety uh, This is the well. best location for ambulance <coughs> service delivery around. Make no mistake and about it. And that's what the Board of Oversight and has repeatedly told us. Exactly, and if anyone says otherwise, they are either kidding themselves or lying to someone in their face. It is the best location response times and public safety in the three towns. Another question which was raised, which I think is a good one, is who ultimately decides this thing? It would seem that a situation like this would go to town meeting, but there apparently is an agreement in place or an agreement being drafted that would put the responsibility for dealing with these scams issues in the hands of the Board of Selectmen. As one member of the Whitley Finance Committee points out, that's probably the way to go in this particular case. If you think about it, if the select boards of all three towns had had the authority to make decisions on SCEMS, SCEMS would be in there right now. That's correct. The outlier are a few naysayers in the town of Deerfield who are pretty much uneducated um, regarding what needs to happen. If you can't remove the power from that group by changing the IMA, that I would make it known to SCEMS that if we can't do that and bring control to the boards <clears throat> and not let all three towns be held hostage by a half dozen, dozen, a hundred people over in Deerfield, whatever it is, then we're going to move forward with another. But Deerfield's already done that, I think. I think, again, I don't know what the specific language is, but I think the vote of the Deerfield Select Board was to have that decision made solely by the three of them and not by town meeting. Well, that would be, so, that, that would be I'm good. I'm not sure about that. You're not sure about that? No, I thought that's Doug, what you said. Doug has a different opinion. My understanding from council was that the boards of selectmen have the authority to amend the IMA. Within the IMA, it says that it requires a town meeting vote. So, in theory, you should be able, you guys signed, you guys put that language in there, you should be able to remove it. So they, did they remove that language in that there? I don't know, I haven't okay, seen let's find that, that out. We've got to find that out. Also, I think we got to meet with the other select boards ASAP before we have a meeting on the 31st with the school committee. 
Another point that came up during that meeting, and one that I think is important to reiterate, is that Waitley can't just put anybody in that space. When they bought the Western Mass Library System building, the town went through a USDA loan process, which pretty much makes it clear that the only ones that can go into that empty space are nonprofit groups or community groups. So you, they couldn't bring a for-profit company in there, for example, to lease that space to, unless the town pays off that USDA loan and gets out from under those regulations, which the board is considering, which would save the town about $632,000 a year or total in interest payments through the life of that loan. The question also is, can these towns work together from here? And certainly the bad feeling has been pretty significant, especially in Deerfield where people are upset about the idea of the Whitley Project and the fact that Deerfield should have more of a way to vote. But it's pretty obvious that the people in Whitley are equally as frustrated as evidenced by this clip. Paul had the right idea. They're just waiting. They're going to go build somewhere. They're going to add on to the fire station and they're going to have their, their sweet little thing. We've been bullied enough. We've been bullied for years from Deerfield, and you can quote me on that. We know that. You know, you know, bullying in school is a no-no. Well, bullying by towns is a no-no as far as I'm concerned. So as you can see, some people aren't all that happy about what's going on here. But in the final analysis is that a decision has to be made soon. Waitley cannot wait to make a decision because every day they wait, is another lost set of dollars for money that could... Let's just start that again. I'm getting tired. Here we go. Three, two, one. Either way, whatever gets done, a decision has to be made pretty soon, and Whitley officials are pretty adamant about that. The tough part here is you've got a bird in the hand scenario. You've got Frontier that needs the space and wants the space, and you've got Scams that wants the space, but maybe isn't in the position to make a firm commitment now, even though the town's offering them a rock bottom deal. Plus, the town could probably get more money out of Frontier than it would out of Skems, just based on the numbers, in terms of per square foot numbers. The town is also facing a potential revenue loss with uh, the change in tax status of a, of a major taxpayer, which will cost the town about $220,000. So, something has to be done. Now, for Deerfield residents who have wanted to keep Skems or the ambulance service in town, the situation in Waitley, I think, is a good thing because they're, hey, you know, if they don't want us to, they don't want Skems to go to Waitley, we'll keep them in Deerfield. That's what we want and we've wanted all along. But there still may not be a spot in Deerfield that will provide the adequate space that agency needs to operate. And Frontier has to move pretty soon because they've got the air quality issues, they've got to get out of that building, and that may be ultimately what forces Waitley's hand on the matter. Again, more meetings to come, more discussion to happen but uh, certainly a very interesting situation is developing and Waitley continues to develop regarding the Waitley Town Hall and the South County EMS. This has been a South County Spotlight Special Report. I'm Chris Collins. Thanks for watching. For all of us here at FCAT, have a good day.